Plum and welcome to the Discovering Plan Factory series of tutorial. In this series of tutorials we look on the interface basic functionality of the Plan Factory. As example, we will use it the Plan Factory producer version. If you have a different studio or other versions, most of this will apply with some limitation. So let's begin and start first on interface. Something it will look very familiar to you if you use it the view before. For example, a lot of icons, they exactly the same and are doing the same functions. However, the interface is look a little bit different. It's more advanced and flexible. It's allowed you to modify, reposition your windows to best customize for the workflow you prefer. For example, right here, this is simple workspace. If we go into Windows, we can modify by going to Workspace and switch, for example, to Advanced Mode. Or you can also go in and load it or save Workspace after you customize. And it will use it some pre-created other ones. And I'll give you some adv kind of advice in which way maybe you like better to do this. Okay, so right here, you notice first we have it some floating windows and when I'm click and dragging them the color is changed also errors appear and you notice when I come closer to the errors we have it blue kind of colors so we can dock to this place as well as some will appear like on our side right here additional so it, this is kind of showing where you can place and dock so you can recustomize them for example I can take this animation go on the top and put maybe you know just on the back right here on the side so there I added them if I want I can undock them again click on the side and you can notice right here some kind of um, dividers so you can undock and reposition them again okay so I'm going place back for example if I want to take this and put on the side I can put on side of main window or I can just put it on a sidebar all the way so it's can quite a bit flexible in this way as well we can readjust extend it decreasing and one thing when you start working with this you'll notice okay, let's put right here maybe you notice the workflow you prefer you kind of set up this way um, how you like it and after this you can save it and preload it. Of course, you don't want sometimes accidentally drag on the icons and all these positions. So you can go inside the windows and lock your workspace. You notice now those bars is disappear. So it's kind of your workspace. It's set to this. You still readjust um, the position. You can increase, decrease viewports in the way you want it. But you cannot just accidentally drag the windows out of that place this is a very useful function and how I said before you can always go to workspace and save current workspace it may be share with other one people or for example if you have it designing or readjusting maybe material working so you can have a different workspace as example I'm going to preload one so let's go ahead and click load workspace okay, and right here I have one I'm using um, this will be workspace will include it with uh, tutorials so you can use it we'll click open and this is a workspace that I'm used to use it and uh, the reason is why because I like to preview full height of the plant when I work right here however on a side this windows which currently doesn't have anything it's provide additional information about different type of components we can use it and uh, during tutorials you'll notice there will additional tabs will add it here as we add more and more components connected yes yeah, so this is positions and you can see how you can readjust of course remember you can always go and lock it's currently this locking so I don't want to accidentally drag my windows and also it's remove this extra kind of thickness on the borders make lighter and easy to use also if you go in the windows right here you notice you have interface colors by opening interface color editor you can modify backgrounds text and all options to customize more 
um, to what you like. You also can save it and preload it already created custom colors. So you can match closely to application maybe you like to work with or some other workflow that you prefer, maybe higher contrast or opposite. So right here it's very fast overview and in next tutorials let's look more closer on other options provided here.